I was a role-playing guy hating every role-playing game I played. I mean, it seemed like nobody wanted to do anything in the electronic game space other than literally recreate Dungeons and Dragons. You know, and I, I want to recreate the feeling of playing d and I want to recreate the feeling of collaborative storytelling and of being there with, you know, six really smart, clever, creative people and working together to, you know, screw over the game master or accomplish whatever goal we were, we were set in, in a particular adventure. But I never, never wanted to roll secret dice behind the scenes and, you know, an electronic dice. Let's, you know, recreate the D&D rule set levels. I mean, the fact that today role playing is defined by I have 17 80th level characters. It's like that's pathetic, you know, and and so I'm still frustrated by this. I mean, role playing should be about, I don't know, playing a role maybe. It's not about rolling dice. It's not about what level I am. It's not about my character class. That's horrible. And I wish everybody in the game business would stop doing it. And I really felt that strongly in 1995 and 96. And so I, I just wrote an article about how we have better ways to simulate things than rolling dice. And, and that's kind of where it started. And from there, I just said, I'm going to make a role-playing game that makes you feel like you're in another world, that makes you feel like you are actually an actor in another world, and you are playing a role, you know? What role do you want to play? It's kind of up to you. And I, and I wrote up those, those rules to, to get at what I thought we needed to do to replace those old rules. 